Hey guys, SHOT Show 2020 here at Pre-Range Day. I'm talking with Adam from LWRC. Hey man, thanks so much for coming hey on. Hey man, thanks for coming by. Absolutely. Tell us about what we got going on here. So this is the SMG 45. Uh, we showed it at SHOT Show 2015, and then it kind of went off the radar, you know, with everything going on, going on in the industry. So we kind of slowed down with it. And it was decided last year that we were gonna ramp it up and, and actually release it. So I think we shipped the first one July 3rd of this year. And since then, we've just been trying to keep up with the demand, which has been a struggle. Gotcha. But, so can you go over some of the attributes and features of it? Yeah, so one of the most, the biggest standouts, I guess, would be the delayed blowback system. So it's got a reciprocating barrel now. It's kind of hard to see with the flag in there. But the barrel does travel. Uh, during cycling, it travels about a quarter inch, maybe a little bit more. And then there's a collar in here that disengages so that the breech block, it allows it to continue to travel backwards and then it comes, when it picks up the next round, it picks the barrel up as well. So what that does, the added mass, it's gonna take all the recoil out. So it's very, I mean, you shot it. I mean, you saw the recoil is just nice. Like it's not pounding on you like a jackhammer. Like I'm We were doing pretty good here at uh, what, 75 yards or something? Uh, that's, that's probably 50. We're on the 75 yard base. So we're about 25 yards up. So it's about 50 yards, but that's about max, you know, what you would expect out of a 45 ACP. I mean, you can pretty much see it traveling down there at yeah. that distance. So pistol format, MSRP? Uh, the MSRP is 29.95. And that's what everybody, you know, when we first I think around uh, the NRA convention, that's when we kind of announced that we were going to be releasing it. And if we would have believed any of the, the comments on social media and on YouTube and everything, everybody, you know, we'd have thought we were going to go bankrupt trying to build this thing. So we had we had, we had enough parts uh, to build 500 on the first, and that was kind of, we were going to use that as our test mm -hmm. to see how well it did. And like I said, since then, I mean, the demand has been so high that I mean it's caught our machine shop off guard like trying to get materials in but we're we're set up now we we feel pretty confident that we're going to get 200 out a month for however many months because I mean we've currently got around a thousand of these on back order right now so, so if I go to LWRC right now and I place an order in with my dealer when should I be able to see one of these right now I'd say two to four months okay. three to six on the long end but like I said I mean as long as and you know how production schedules go when people promise you that you're going to get materials anything can happen but as long as we're able to keep on on track and keep on schedule we we feel pretty confident we'll get at least 200 out of month. i think 250 is about max capacity for us to still be able to build other guns and keep the, the quality obviously that's that's the main the main focus on that outstanding can you go over some of that um, yeah some of the other attributes yeah. yeah so it's yeah. fully ambidextrous so we've got our ambi selector um, that's a standard AR selector, so it's it's kind of, we wanted to keep a lot of the same parts as the AR-15 platform. Gotcha. In fact, that's the AR-15 trigger in there, and so you can drop in any mil-spec trigger. Uh, it's got an ambi bolt catch and release, which is found on all of our products. Everything at LWRC is, is ambidextrous. And it's got the paddle mag release under here. It takes the, the UMP mags, and obviously this is chambered in 45 ACP. So, uh, in the future, there will be a nine millimeter version that uh, we're gonna offer the factory configured nine millimeter, and then we'll also do the conversion kits. Where it'll just change the barrel and the breech. What are you thinking of for magazines for the nine Glock or? No, we're gonna stick with the HK gotcha. mag, like the, the UMP mags. So UMP nine Glock? Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Cool. But also it's got a, a non-reciprocating ambidextrous charging handle. You can actually pop it from this side and run it on that side. So, uh, and then this is the pistol configuration. It's got the SB Tactical folding brace on there. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna come out with different options for stocks. I think the very first one, which they were supposed to show up at the shop on uh, Friday, is we're gonna do a, a rear block that's gonna be threaded so you can put a mil-spec buffer tube on there and then put whatever stock. Uh, currently, the B&T stock will actually, you can remove that pin and that's a direct drop in for the guys that's going to SBR it now through the Form 1. And we've seen several people, you know, several guys have done that and girls, I guess. Does it come with the Magpul? It does. These come standard on there. Uh, they're nice. In my opinion, they're a little bit high for, because these one, actually this one might co-witness, but you could almost run, I mean, it's like shotgun sights pretty much, like iron sights on the rail. But, uh, but the, I mean, Magpul makes a great flip up sight, so that was, that was easy to put on there. Gotcha. And then ALG trigger standard or no? Uh, yes, that does come standard in there. Outstanding. 
Real sandwich. quick, we got M Block on the side too, right? Actually, no. It no. looks a lot like okay, M Block, okay. but that is our proprietary uh, mounting system that's found on all of our piston guns. Gotcha. So we sell accessories on our website for that. So, you know, you could get Picatinny if you needed to run a light or something on there like that. And then it comes standard with these rail panels that we put on there. And you have a threaded barrel. We do. So that's a .578 by 28. So pretty much your standard 45 ACP suppressor. I'll, I'll call my uh, call some questions about that because the barrel operation is essential. Right. So we it. recommend going with some type of booster or Nielsen device. Okay. Now we have had reports where people use a three lug mount and that we haven't tested it, but it's going to be, it's going to depend how much weight that suppressor adds to the barrel because the barrel still has to travel. And I know we've had some customers do a direct mount and then they have cycling issues. So the first thing we tell them to do is put a, a booster in there and they, it actually runs. I mean, obviously we configure it to run it unsuppressed, but it runs better suppressed. Like it's, it's smooth. I was kind of disappointed when they made the go to not go with suppressors today. All right. Cool. Well, thank you so much, Adam. Yeah, Definitely no problem, appreciate uh, the episode. Yeah, it was and good I'm, talking to you, man. Absolutely, too. And I'm sure readers will be able to get, uh, get a hold of this. Oh, I hope so. I hope they're going to like it for sure. Sounds good. All right, thanks a lot.